Hey, what's going on guys? Rob from ClicksGeek and today's video I wanted to make for a real estate investor case study. So this guy has a bunch of locations which we'll go into in a minute. Um, campaign started out well, then the market shifted and went downhill a lot. So we did a ton, a ton of landing, plate, landing page split testing on this guy and we finally got the conversion right back up. So it's at 16% right now. I think the last seven days got even higher because we just ended yeah, 21% in the last seven days. We just ended a split test for this guy. We were running four different page variations with different titles and colors and stuff like that and um, crushed it. So he got 13 actual real estate investor leads in the last seven days, July 4th to July 10th, 21% conversion rate, $130 a lead, which is awesome for the real estate investor space. We are extremely stoked about this to roll this um, winning landing page variation out to our other real estate investor clients because if one works for one then we always take the winner and roll that out to all the other clients if there's an issue with conversion rate and get them turned around as well so we kind of use one winning example and put that across to everybody so everybody wins um, I'm gonna get right into this but before I do if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe if you are a real estate investor who would like to add an additional lead generation stream to your business. You can set up Google Ads. We can take all of our winning campaigns, landing pages, everything, and clone them, swap your information out, target your locations, and roll it out for your location. That's how we do it. Everything is templated, so we just copy, paste, move on. And again, as I just went through in the beginning of this video, if there's an issue, if there's a struggle with the conversion rate, we're constantly, constantly, on a daily basis, testing new landing page variations for across all kinds of different markets and real estate investor space. So if we find something that wins, we roll it out to everybody. So you're continually going to have an improving campaign. That's just how we do it. So with that said, um, if that's something you'd like, we can set that up for you. You can hit the application link in the description. I think there's actually a link tree in the description with an application tab in there to apply to work with us. And if it's a good fit, we can roll this out in your location. Or if you want to do this yourself, go to our channel. I literally build these campaigns A through Z. Um, you can watch over my shoulder. We have a course that's dedicated specifically to real estate investors only. Um, you can take the course and roll this campaign out yourself. But um, yeah, so I want to get that out of the way. Now let's get right to the campaign. So last 30 days, 25 leads, 242 a lead. That's way higher than, um, I, you know, 250 is not terrible for a real estate investor because the leads are very valuable. These are high quality leads, but Obviously, the 13% conversion rate, we don't want that. So that's when we started all of our split tests for this guy. And then, as you can see, it was 13. Then the last 14 days, it was 16. And then the last seven days, we got him up to 21. So anything in 20% or over conversion rate-wise with real estate investors, I'm thrilled with. That's amazing. If I can pull this guy 13 leads a week at $130 a lead every week, that's a total win and I'll just run this forever. I'll, I'll Obviously, we'll always constantly be split testing to make sure we can try and get the conversion rate a little bit higher. Ideally, I'd like to be at 25%, but I'll take 20% plus all day long. That's amazing, especially if you've seen the, the last three days, the results were 13%, so that's a big difference in lead volume when you're 13% versus 20%. So if we go back through the keywords here, we'll go into the campaign. Actually, let me walk through the stats. So this guy's spending three hundred dollars a day, Monday through Friday only, <clears throat> and he stole the Illinois budget. Um, so there's a lot of runway here to get more leads, and we're just waiting on getting this conversion rate more dialed in. Now that we have it at twenty percent plus, we're probably going to really start ramping things up. But in the last thirty days, they've got one hundred eighty-six clicks, one thousand seven hundred ninety-eight impressions, ten point three four percent click-through rate, average cost per click thirty-two dollars and sixty cents. Again, this is phrasing exact match, high, high, high intent real estate investor searches, which I'll show you in a minute. Total cost for the last 30 days in Google Ads was $6,062. It's gotten 25 leads, 242 a lead, 13.44% conversion rate. Again, this was, this is these stats are a mixture of um, all of our split tests. So if we go back, a bulk of these leads came in the last seven days. So if we go back, so the last seven days, you'll see here, 13 of those 25 leads came in the last seven days, and that's where all the lower cost leads came from and the higher conversion rate. 
So 60, we should probably actually do seven days because that's more realistic now that we have this new test rolled out and it's obviously working really well. 60 clicks, 562 impressions, 10.68% click-through rate. Average cost per click dropped a little bit. It's $28.18. Total cost for the last seven days, $1,691. They've gotten 13 leads. That's a mixture of phone calls and Forbes submissions. Cost per lead is $130.08. Conversion rate, 21.67%. So that's awesome. Go into the campaign. We can sort by clicks. You'll see where all the clicks are coming from. Actually, let's do conversions. That makes more sense. Right? So companies that buy houses, we buy homes, buy my house fast for cash. We buy houses, buy my house, fast home buyers. So a lot of... Um, a lot of ad groups didn't really get many impressions, but again, we were running a gigantic split test on this guy for basically the last 30 days to get these results to where they are now. So it's only going to increase with time. But if we go into keywords, we'll see here we're only going after phrase and exact match. And the keywords are sending all the leads, which I'll show you in one minute. Fast home buyers buy my house. Companies that buy houses, we buy houses. Buy my house fast for cash. We buy homes for cash. Companies that buy houses. So these keywords are all very, very high intent to what the client, the end client, actually does. So that's why um, the message match when you go to landing page is all the same. It's get a cash offer for your house, stuff like that. They can fill out the form to get one, or it's a phone call. They can call. And then a bunch of geo ad groups because they're in Florida. This client actually have a couple guys in Florida, but this particular one's in Florida in uh, like the Tampa area or something like that. So yeah, really basic keywords. Um, again, the real magic is not the campaign. Anyone, anyone can make these campaigns. You can copy this off my screen right now and run it yourself. You're not going to get a 21% conversion rate without doing tons and tons of split testing, A-B testing. Each market can be a little bit different, but we found in the real estate investor space, once you find a winning um, combination on the landing page, it has so far, at least in the last six months, proven to work out that it does increase for the most part. I'd say 99 times out of 100, if we roll that winning variation out to other clients, it will increase their conversion rate. So that's exciting, and that's why we're constantly now improving on all of our real estate investor landing pages on a weekly basis and taking the winners and rolling them out. So that's how we do it. Again, if this is something you'd like for your real estate investing business, we can take our template, roll it out to your location and turn this on and uh, get that rolling for you. Just fill out the application in the description below this video. Um, let's see what else do I got here. If we go into the conversion actions, let's actually see what we got here. We can see what where the leads came from. All right, cool. So one, one was a call from the call extension lead. So we had one inbound phone call from the call extension lead, and all that call extension lead conversion action is is just a call tracking number we have attached to our Google ad so we can track if where it comes from. So that came from that. Nine of the leads came from contact form submissions, which are full, full on name, email, phone, uh, zip code, address, everything. Like how urgent is your need to sell your house? So it's like a checkbox. So these are legit contact forms. They're not name and email or something like that, or just email. And three leads came from phone call. Now, this conversion action is actually tracked when anyone from Google Ads comes to the landing page and calls one of the tracking phone numbers on the page. Then that will fire as a conversion for the uh, phone call conversion action. So 13 leads last seven days, 21% conversion rate. That's a good sign. Our tests are working and uh, continually to improve. All right, guys, that's all I got for you in the real estate investor space today. I will... Make another one because we have another client that we're, we've just bumped over, I think it's over 30% in the last 30 days. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock that case study too in the next uh, day or two here. All right, guys. Catch you later.